And we have breaking news here in Washington. Former Hillary Clinton campaign attorney Michael Sussman has been acquitted in a federal trial, a high-profile trial. He was charged with lying to the FBI about his connections to the Clinton campaign. And this comes out of the Durham investigation. Uh, back with me now are NBC investigations correspondent Tom Winter and former U.S. attorney Joyce Vance. So uh, give us the background here, Tom Winter. We know that Durham was appointed very controversially under the former attorney general and the Trump administration. And this was supposed to be uh, a major breakthrough, this investigation, into how the initial investigation into the Russia connection evolved uh, and whether or not it had, you know, the Clinton campaign all over it. But now this lawyer, Michael Sussman, has been acquitted of lying to the FBI. Correct, Andrea. Two week trial. The first trial brought, uh, in, first trial, I should say, in a case brought by special counsel John Durham approximately two weeks. The jury got the case around 12.50 on Friday, uh, delivered a ver verdict uh, right around noontime here today. So, approximately seven hours of deliberations acquitting Sussman of the charge of lying to the FBI when he presented information uh, to then FBI general counsel James Baker. And according to Durham's team, said that he wasn't working on behalf of any specific entity or individual, uh, but at the time, uh, they alleged that he was working uh, for the Hillary Clinton campaign. And, in fact, he should have disclosed that when asked by Baker uh, so that Baker knew the origins of the information. The information was a series of IP messages that went back and forth between uh, IP addresses associated with the uh, Trump Tower and Trump Organization and a bank in Russia, specifically Alpha Bank, A-L-F-A, -A, uh, a bank that's referred, been come up in news reports often, has been something that's been uh, discussed discussed in the past uh, that there was some sort of a communication uh, between uh, servers located at uh, the Trump Tower and uh, this bank in Russia, which has strong ties to the Russian government, as most banks in Russia do. Uh, and the question was whether or not Sussman uh, adequately disclosed who he was working for. But the legal question was whether or not, in fact, he lied to Baker based off of uh, uh, documents that Baker had uh, in saying that he was not working on behalf of a campaign, while Durham's team alleged uh, that, uh, in fact, he was billing the campaign uh, for the Alpha Bank uh, associated work. So that's kind of the, the heart in the nutshell of this. The broader ramifications are, Andrea, this multi-year probe, it's not clear where it goes from here. It had been looking into, as you pointed out, uh, the uh, investigation into the investigation. So they're looking at the origins of the inquiry into uh, the Trump campaign. And that even predates special counsel Robert Mueller. So essentially, were the cases properly predicated, the FBI has to meet certain certain bars, although sometimes those bars are, are quite low, uh, for determining whether or not to open certain investigations and why were those investigations open and was there anything illegal that occurred or, or was there any sort of criminal wrongdoing that occurred in opening those investigations. So that's what he's been looking at. He was the former U.S. attorney in Connecticut. And then, as you pointed out, towards the end of the Trump administration, prior to the election, uh, either pr just prior or just afterwards, I, I want to double check that, but then Attorney General William Barr uh, appointed him as special counsel, which meant that he couldn't be removed uh, when the new administration, the Biden administration, took over. Um, so I believe that would have been that it would have been after the election. But either way, uh, he is a special counsel, cannot be removed. Uh, technically, although Joyce maybe can argue this the other way uh, by the sitting attorney general. The bottom line here is, where does this investigation go? We have not heard a lot of details about what else they're looking into. Is it coming to a conclusion? And it's believed that we will get a fi final report similar to what happened with special counsel Mueller. So we'll just have to keep an eye out for all of that, Andrea.